for a lot of audiences, sitting down after moving around a lot at a conference, you know, it necessarily means gearing down into a and having something in, that involves them quite actively can be quite powerful. Who would, if given a tool, a piece of technology, would use it? So, click away, click away. I don't think pointing the clicker actually makes a difference. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, if you enjoy pointing the clicker, do it. So when they do the simple thing of, okay, wait a minute, okay, wait, now, what's the question again? That by itself gets people, I think, just at a, at a higher energy level, and, and they begin to listen, and you can hopefully get people engaged in, in good content without having to do the extra work of bringing them back from the food coma they might be in just after lunch. <laughs> 95, 6 percent. Oh, see, everybody's into this one. Here we go. Okay, so the answers are three, two, one, last chance, boom. I am a really big believer in the power of anonymous response, right? And so when I do presentations with the, with the clickers, the goal is really to get them to answer anything, but show them that it's engaging to be sitting there thinking about it and doing it. If at the end of presenting something, and then the next couple of days, you, you have some system like what you have, to just ask the kids, do you have it? Because I, I could ask, I could ask my students, we all do this as teachers, it's a boneheaded thing to do, but we all do it. Raise your hand if you didn't understand. <laughs> right. Kids are like, if you ask a bunch of kids who doesn't understand, no one's going to raise their hand. But if you ask them, how comfortable are you with this material on a one to five, then you can get, I think, quite an honest response from them based on the fact that they know no one else knows what they're putting in. And so that, I think that's really efficient for teachers to know where their kids are in terms of confidence with the material.